Hello. It is May 26th and it is an absolutely beautiful day. It is very warm, but uh, it's tolerable if you're in the shade. In the sun, it's kind of hot, but it's all right. I'm here today at Palm de Terre, I think that's how you say it, uh, Lake. And I'm at um, kind of in the middle, I think, of the map. Uh, so that's where my GPS took me. So uh, I took out my drone, flew it a little bit, got some pretty cool imagery. Uh, there's one shot I didn't get because I thought I was recording, but I didn't. But uh, whatever. <laughs> so now I'm going to walk the trail. It's a pretty easy trail. It's like a little bit over three miles. So I should get done pretty quick and see what there is. Uh, that trail, I, I think it like travels through a lot of the area that's um, of rather interest. It actually crosses the highway, I think. It might be under, hopefully it's under. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get to it. So the trail, I think, didn't lead me here. I think I kind of fell off the path uh, to what looks like the beach. Um, I think it's where they maybe load boats or docking. No, not really. Uh, there's a lot of tire tracks in there, so I have no idea. But uh, I'm here. No one is here. It's very quiet, very peaceful. So I think I'm going to record some sound. So as per usual, when I start recording, other sounds come in. So like probably six boats came by as I was recording. So I didn't get the peaceful sound that uh, I was trying to capture when I just entered the area. But uh, it still sounds good though, no matter what. Um, I did the uh, long recordings. Um, if you've been following my channel, you probably have noticed it. I've just been recording the scenery and recording sound for it, stereo, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I've been releasing it. I'm, I'm putting downloads for it too, so if you want to download it, feel free. It's free. It's recorded at 96K, 24-bit, so enjoy. So the, this portion of that will probably be released the same time the video, this video will be, so uh, look out for that. So I don't think I've ever really talked about my zoom recorder here this is the f1 and the capsule i have is the mid-side capsule so i've been recording it at 100 degrees i can change the degrees of the of the bi-directional capsules in there uh, which is pretty cool but uh, i've been i've just been doing it at 180, 120 degrees so we've been kind of getting you know a lot of middle a lot of sides so um, and it sounds pretty good. Uh, one thing that I have noticed was, um, I think I heard it in one of the, the balcony recordings in my apartment. Uh, it does capture RF a little bit. So that's kind of a downside. Um, but, you know, I like it. It is smaller than my other recorder, my H4N. Uh, and it is, you know, I could do different capsules, which is the only one I have for stereo. Actually, the only one I have, really. Uh, but, yeah, I love it. I like it. It's very convenient. I've been wanting to do ambisonic sound, and I've been wanting to uh, get into that. I haven't really touched on it at all. So, ambisonic sound, um, 3D audio. I've done stereo, not stereo, surround sound recording before. Uh, 
the university has a uh, holophone, so it's eight channels total. And you plug into the eight channel recorder and you record, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But the thing about that is it's really big. And uh, if you're going to areas like this, if you're gonna like have to hike to your location, which in my case right now, I don't have to hike. There's actually a parking area right here. But if you do have to hike for your location, then it might be uh, troublesome to carry around because you also have to carry like, you know, an eight track recorder. So there's always downfalls and upsides for everything. <laughs> but I have been looking into Ambisonic, like I said, and I think uh, Zoom has an Ambisonic microphone that's just like a recorder like this. So I might look into that. It's, it's, it is expensive, but uh, it might be a better alternative than um, buying an actual microphone and bringing my H or my F8N and you know, I have to power that somehow and all this jazz. Uh, I try to keep things minimalistic and uh, less carrying items as much as I can because um, I usually don't have the time to do all that setup, you know? It's not like a film set where you actually have a little bit of time to set up and then you can do your stuff, so. But I think I might call it uh, for this trail, I might walk back to the car and actually drive to a different location in the area. Uh, I don't actually want to complete the trail because I actually don't know where the trail is anymore. <laughs> So I'll just walk back where I came from, which is the open spot. So I think I'll go back to the car and I might drive around. Uh, if not, then I might just go home. It is an hour drive here from Springfield. So this is it. Thanks for watching.